Soldiers don't seem to have any qualms about it. Attacking on sight. You want me to fight this? No choice. The flame no, no, inside is yours to be let free. Burn it out. Resonate with the dragon floor. There I turn the cross blade. Weapon material when I see it. Here goes! 
action light. I've used too much. Where are you going? Explosive ring! Can't be the way! These ones can run quick around us! Got your back. Who's in a bright and shiny mood? Just what I need. 
everlasting Dragon yeah. Swarm! Yeah. Negative gate! Win luck! Light burst form! Radiant Genesis! My turn! Elusive Deity! Dragon Swarm! Yeah. Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Elusive Deity! You're the healing gun! Sorry! You're mine! Eagle! You're mine! You're mine! Crush! Eternal Devastation! Crush! I can't heal you forever! Dragon Swarm! To the floor! Dragon Swarm! I'm ready! Back you play! Go in, in an instant! Impact boss! Not a chance! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Perhaps we ought to recuperate for a while. I agree. Fighting in this state would be reckless. This must be it. The entrance to the Forbidden Zone. But it's just a wall. How do we get through? Whoa, we? I thought this was Sovereigns only. Alfin. Interesting. If Alfin's presence still opens the way, it would seem the Sovereign of three centuries ago and now are considered one and the same. What? What the...? Alfin. Alfin. You again. Tomorrow's the spirit channeling ceremony. We'll finally play our parts as the sovereign and maiden. How have you been feeling? Nayori. What am I sovereign of? Nayori. From lab to lab, always treated like an experiment. Whenever they look at me, all they see is a Danon. I don't even know what their precious ceremony's for. Let alone what they're going to force me to do as the sovereign. Tell me, if we're both in the same boat, why do you seem so calm right now? No choice. Becoming the Maiden's not something I wanted for myself. But they... They said Rena's prosperity depended on it. How could I say no after that? Still, as a Renan, at least you got to decide. Good for you. Meanwhile, I was taken from my homeland. You aren't the captive one here. It isn't right what they did to you. And I'm sorry for what it's worth. When this is over... I swear I'll help you get home. I can't do this alone. One more day. How could I say no to that? It's not like I have any choice in the matter anyway. So, what's your name? It's Naori. 
Naori Imeris. Hmm. Try to remember this time. You don't act like them. Like the other Renans, I mean. How come you treat me like a person? Because you are. It's true we come from different worlds. But neither one of us asked to be here right now. In that sense, you and I are much the same. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't be able to talk to each other as people. If we didn't see the humanity in each other. So I suppose the question you should be asking is, why wouldn't I treat you like one? Oh. You're not like the others. Maybe they're not like me. Here's what we'll do. We give them their damn ceremony. You get me to Dana. That'll be the end of it. I'm taking you at your word on this. I'm trusting you, not them. Nayori. All right. What the hell just happened? That vision. Did everyone else see it too? That person Alvin was speaking to. She looked exactly like Shion. It was Naori. Naori Imeris. Isn't that right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. She really does look like Shion. I'm beginning to see why Alvin was so confused. That's all very well and fine, but what did we just witness exactly? It was too real to be a mere hallucination. It was a conversation we had 300 years ago. The night before the ceremony. You mean all of that really happened? We just saw an episode straight out of your past? Yeah, well... But how was that even possible? Unless... Could this be the Red Woman's handiwork too? No, I don't think so. Why not? You guys didn't feel it? The moment the entrance opened, it was like a stream of Dan and Astral energy rushing over us. I felt it too. And not for the first time either. It was the same sensation as back inside the wedge. That would make sense. After all, vast amounts of Dana's astral energy were being siphoned and sent up here to Lenigus. For all we know, perhaps we're close to the spot where all that energy was stored. So you think it might have been the energy itself that was responsible for that vision we just saw? But how? And why? We have no way of knowing. Know. Maybe it's not even as deliberate as all that. <sighs> Shion, you okay? Yeah. It was all just a little sudden. That's all. So that was my ancestor, huh? It was like looking into a mirror. Yeah, there certainly is a resemblance. What about you? How are you holding up? Me? Even putting aside the question of where that vision came from, it's likely we'll see more of those. Reliving painful episodes from your past. Do you think you can handle it? I can't just pretend like the past never happened. Besides, if it helps us uncover the truth of what that ceremony really was, it might also lead to answers about your thorns. Alfin. That's not all. This whole time, we've been fighting to free Dana from the Renans. But now that we're here, it seems those same Renans might have it just as bad. I'd like to liberate them too, if I can. Which is just another reason I can't afford to shield my eyes from the truth. Whether you're on Dana or somewhere else, you always stay the same. Your indignation and righteous passion, your desire to free and protect, they're all hardwired into you. Not that I'm complaining. Come on, let's bust this thing wide open. Nobody's here. Yeah. Stay sharp. After that last illusion, there's no telling what could happen in here.
Faria? How did you get in here? Wait. Something about her isn't right. What's wrong with her? She doesn't even seem to know where she is. Yeah, you're right. She looks just like the soldiers we encountered outside. Dark man. Summoning? But that's preposterous. She never had that kind of power when- We can talk later. Here it comes! Oh no. What? I've never known Faria to control symbols like that before. How about with a stone that looks suspiciously like a master core? What the... Where did she get her hands on that? First we handled the two. Then we get some answers. Aim for the weak spot. Eagle Rage!
I'll do my best not to disappoint. Lunar corruption! Now you see what I can do! By the I'm ready! Hell in the hurricane! That'll bring you down! is way too powerful to control. At this rate, her body won't be able to take much more. Don't believe it. Forgive me. But why? Why fire? Man, I thought we were goners. Hmm. Everything okay? Yes. She's only unconscious. Not her. I meant you. Shion, please. Can you treat her? I can try, but I can't promise she'll be back to her real self when she wakes up. All I can do is heal her physically. We're not even supposed to be in here. Maybe it'd be better if we moved her to somewhere a little safer. Don't oh, you think? I uh, no. Oh, In that case, Ammo. I'll take her off your hands. You? Avakir, what are you doing here? I oh. was curious what you were up to, so I took the liberty of following you to find out. I overheard what you said about Tarnigan, about how he really died. I'm sorry, I had no idea. And you believed me? What makes you so sure I wasn't lying? I like to think I know you a little better than that, Dohalin. Give me some credit. I'll take Faria. Leave her with me. I know better than to ask what you're up to. But whatever it is, I hope it all works out. Thank you. He seems like a good friend. He hasn't changed. He never was one to stand out. Instead, he was always hanging back. Worrying about everyone else. As for Faria, it's always the closest to me who get hurt. You don't seriously blame yourself for what happened to her, do you? Somebody got to her. To strike back at me. Someone who knew me well enough to know that I'd hesitate to fight back. And the same goes for you as well. Neither you nor Faria would have lost loved ones. If it wasn't for me. You're wrong. Kelzalik was the one who killed my brother under orders from Almadria. As for Tarnigan, if it weren't for the crown contest, he'd still be alive. That and the whole damn hierarchy that makes it possible. But that's why we're fighting. To put an end to this whole messed up system that treats people as expendable. Indeed. 
Reading society of this blight is really the only way I know how to atone for my sins. You can't atone, Dohalim. <laughs> I know it hurts to hear, but those people are dead. No amount of soul-searching or trying to make amends is going to change that. Forgiveness, acceptance, those ships have sailed. So I just forget the harm I caused? No, the opposite, in fact. You remember. You never forget. You keep it in your heart always. And then you go on living. Not for those already passed, but for those still alive. For those still alive? Kisara's right. So long as we've still got breath in our bodies, we can make a difference in the lives of others. Lives being the operative word. That's what living's all about. Being able to still make a difference. Punishing yourself for the past won't make the pain of your conscience go away. Only fixing the problem in its stead. Is that what you're saying? That's right. You have to live for tomorrow, Dohalim. Not for yesterday. And not only that, you need to live for yourself and for the change that you still can be. <sighs> I shall try. Don't forget, we've still got a mystery to solve. The Forbidden Zone, remember? Xion. Huh? Thank you. You have my deepest gratitude for what you did for Faria. Glad to be of service. I'm glad we could stop Faria without hurting her. You all did much for her as well. Well done. I'm most grateful. Oh, shit. We're on the same team, right? <laughs> what is it, Rinwell? Do you hear something again? Yeah. It's that voice. The will of Dana's astral energy. What? There's so much astral energy. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like... it's alive. Da. That was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of... Like the whole world was seconds from... Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. 
A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The end of time. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... <sighs> what? So, everything we just saw, those were Nayori's memories, right? That's right. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least... Power flowing into her. It reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? I don't know. If that is the case, we just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of the matter. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. What was that? If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. And when enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. If so, maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Renan astral energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. Just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. Let's keep moving. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories, then I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. Shion's right. All we can do is keep going. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. And I think... They may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on, let's go. Finally, we begin to understand what the Thorns are. Yes, and their source. A ceremony that occurred three centuries ago. But we still don't know how to get rid of them. I just hope we can find a way. Go. Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns, as well as my own past. I have to be ready to face anything, whatever happens. Go. I'm determined to save Shion and Dana. Nothing I learn can change that. This 
looks like some kind of research facility. A laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. Hmm. I think I can make this work. Well, can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records, by the looks of it. Reams of them, dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. A composite being capable of controlling Dan and Astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Arsene. Sovereign? Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master course. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the Crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? No. Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait. I think I've found one that was successful. Test subject number 1273, ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Alphen. Huh. huh. Alphen. They re-engineered me, right here in this lab. Alphen. It's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Test subject number 10105. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Volron. Wow. But that means... She's only sovereign because someone made him that Volron. way Volron. He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. <laughs> but what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? Upon victory, the Sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegus combined. When a new Sovereign is decided, the outgoing Monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two Sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the Crown Contest. It's all lies, including the part about the Sovereign residing in Rena. The Crown Contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some so other Rena purpose. is a liar. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? 
If it wasn't the Sovereign, then who was it? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a Sovereign. Me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renin homeworld. Either know. way, it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their endgame is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can, while we're here. Hmm. I'll do that. So this is where Alfin became the Sovereign. And Volron as well. The significance of this location would suggest... Hey! It looks like the terminals in here turned on too! We should look through them. They might contain valuable information. Mayori, I... I... Don't talk. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But... you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Rena never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. My His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. But... Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If 
doing this will grant you even the slightest chance. I have to try. I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Elfin. <sighs> that vision... It must have been from when Naori helped Elfin escape Lenegas. She sure went above and beyond the call of duty. Even with Lenegas crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain, and why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me, and made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. She knew you might lose your memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Place. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After 300 years, this is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? 
It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of Oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alphen lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... just now. Was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this 
Is the maiden's outfit? Oh my That's god. That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the sovereign and maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new Sovereign and Maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the Thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? I don't know. It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma. And we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. What is it? Shion. What is it? It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril, it's selfish of me, I know, but... But still... What? No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well-placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. <laughs> yeah, we've come all this way. Yeah, now we why? Just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we mind. can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my yeah, services. Why? My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. Yeah, why? <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Xion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. <laughs> Thank you, Naori. How are you? So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse. The, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put an end to all this. When my thorns are gone, I never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible. No. The truth is, I think maybe I've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns. The touch of my family, or playing with my friends, Holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself, 
and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end, and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live! <sighs> a normal oh life. There are a lot of things you still want to do, right? Yeah. You're right. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. And it's for my sake. So I can live. You're worth fighting for. I believe you, Alfin. Good. I'll keep on fighting. For as long as it takes. Until our future is finally in our hands. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? I don't know. After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. Hmm. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. Hey, boy. Go for it. The final button. Finally, oh my god.
This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Yeah. The end. Is it the end? Finally, the end. Volron! He really was still alive. And there's the Renes Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena, at the shrine of the true sovereign. What has happened to him? He's lost himself. Reduced to a mere cog in a machine. Hey, look! Over there! Isn't that... the Maiden's Crest? Can it be... that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but... are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation... And the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. Oh my god. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Yeah. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renes Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. <laughs> what is it? He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. The Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <coughs> that light nice. That light nice. What is this? Who the hell are they? It can't be. Are they even people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. Nah, uh, bro. They're not feeling particularly talkative. It's no use, Alfin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Bloody Bloody Another incantation ruin. Enemy swarm. Dragon Anything in armor is all mine! Here I come! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Here's the evil! Dragon Swarm! Here's the healing! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! That'll bring you down! Demon Lab! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Hit me a dozen. Stand in the way! Eternal devastation! Here! I'll be saving! Hit me again. Eternal devastation! Try in the floor! Remove! Now we're never! Now take this! It does you the enemy. 
Fighting is useless now! Do you think it's really over? <gasps> Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their <clears throat> sleeve! <clears throat> <clears throat> what? It's self destructed? Alvin! <sighs> I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. Who said you could touch that? Whoa, what? Damn it! You're He's there. awake! You're alive. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. <laughs> You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf? who happens to be another Sovereign. Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the Sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of Sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. Every one of them besides me died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. <laughs> Then you mean, Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volron? So he posed as a Renin and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? Renan and Dan are meaningless distinctions. He and everyone else. That is all that matters. <laughs> I will stand wow. above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting wow. with this. Wow. <laughs> A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! Can't stay here. 
Paragon. Go. But no, I will be your shadow no matter where you try to run. Hmm. Let's go. Bye bye. Never forget, I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am. I am. I should. Are you two okay? Yeah. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of him? We can but hope. Those red women... What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renesalma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human, that's for sure. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. Seriously, I was not exp huh. Ah, why? Expecting Voron to actually be here. He's Seem to care not one whit about Brennan's or Danon's. Yeah, not in a good way like with us. How's that for a kick? I'm getting better, right? Quite. I'll be relying on your fancy footwork. Does fancy footwork mean running away like a chicken? No!
get out of this! Try to get out of this! I will show you any mercy! No take it! Shall break this Not today! Dragon Floor! Do it! I don't even know the word defeat. It's time to finish this. Die! Consuming wildfire. Glacial spear. But a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. What the? When did it get pitch dark all of a sudden? The lights are all out. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Doe? You two. Faria, Avakir. Thank goodness you're safe. Avakir filled me in about everything. About how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing. So she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off! Just for one- Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Oh, Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. 
Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd- There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust? That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Lenegas wouldn't no, have a next in line. After all, you said no, the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is... Ah, very well then. Avakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Uh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lenegas. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elden Menencia. Look up there, it's Lord Dohalim! Hold on! He should be in the crown contest! Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to... Yeah, Lord Dolan. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter. And things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned. Perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lanagus. Not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find a new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among them. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. What you said earlier, about the Sovereign possibly not even existing, was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie. Built on nothing but falsehoods. But... it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? You? You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. 
but not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But how else do you propose to rule? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. <laughs> when I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. I feel like, like, maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigus till you get back. Thank you. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the yeah. foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. True enough. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're gonna have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. Looks like the people... Well, if Lenigus can rest easy, I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can... Share the credit here. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? How are we with us? I think it turned out pretty decent, but what do you all think? You okay, Shion? You're not eating very much. What's wrong? Do you not like the cheese fondue that you made? Yeah, I'm used to seeing you more excited about food. You're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just... What? I guess I just don't understand what the appeal is. We could just as easily put everything on a plate and pour the cheese on top of it instead. I suppose it lies in being able to decide exactly how much cheese you want. There's also something to be said for enjoying how it all turns out. It's fun. 
That's fine and all, but I wish the plate to mouth time was shorter. I think I understand. You don't like having to put in so much effort into eating something, do you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, now that I think about it, you're a way less fussy eater than you look, Xion. Mm. In my book, there's no one right way to eat a meal. Tuck in, take your time, be dainty or devouring. As long as you enjoy the food, that's what counts. There's no need to stand on ceremony while we're out camping in the wilderness. E yeah, you're right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Huh. Uh. Huh. I've huh. never seen someone dump that much huh. cheese on a meal before. Huh. Huh. Me. 
guess her willingness to stoop to any low came from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief, but championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Too bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. When you think about it, the families of Renan Lords must see them differently than the rest of us. Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders, carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces, and nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's what makes them the guardians of all of Renna, so to speak. Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt went after you, because we're threats to Renna. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others, they all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went through life. Yeah, but still, just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters, either. They were individuals, just like the rest of us. So I guess... What I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. Even if they did terrible things, they were still just people. Renwell... Am I wrong? Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. And being a Renan doesn't make you a bad one. I think that's something we've all seen. Xion and Dohalim definitely make a good case for it. And I'm going to keep doing my best to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human being above all else. I thought we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. Oh my God. The answers oh, have hey. to be there. Are there we prepared go. to finally find them? There you go. 
Thank so, God. what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <laughs> what? Oh my god. What are you? What are you? What do you want? just happened our course has been altered the coordinates are pointing to a different destination what's that the ship's controls aren't accepting my commands the engine is being shut down that's bad right quite bad we've lost control of the ship is all of this the red women's doing are they trying to finish us off before we can land <laughs> Everyone, look there. Blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. Huh. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <sighs> I don't believe this. 
We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. R right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Now what? Huh. The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. Oh my god. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those red women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Yeah.